Am I looking at the wrong one? Or you mean on selfies again? <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna look at. I feel. <gasps> Is it a cat ass? Are you giving me a cat butthole? Is this gonna be a cat butthole? It's not loading. Is it a cat butthole? Are you sending me a cat butthole? Load! Please don't be a cat butthole. Please don't be a cat butthole. It's not loading. I guess I just don't ever get to know what one of my moderators looks like. It's fine. I like it this way. Full of sadness and heartbreak. Disappointment and heartbreak. Oh my God, kill zombies. The fuck is this? These two women shared the same glass. One got COVID-19, the other did not. Still think the government isn't involved? Google two girls, one cup to learn the truth. I think we all know where this is going. Oh my God. It's a pic of a loading screen. Yeah, you're just sending me pictures of loading screens. Is this just a cruel joke? It is a naked cat. Why do you always do this to me? Why is it always a naked cat? Dude, look at the little dick on that cat though. I'm impressed. It's always a naked cat. It's always a naked cat. It's always a naked cat. It's fine. I'm used to sadness and disappointment. So what were you saying about COVID earlier? It's not as bad as on the news. No, never. My mom sent me a video about it. Um, it's just not sensational. Sensational. Like the news makes it seem, I guess like, it is that bad, but people are going about it the wrong way, if that makes sense. Professor. What did she say about putting pips on respirators? Joe Rogan was talking shit about respirators. Why was he talking shit about respirators? Does he know anything about ventilators at all? No. Is he a respiratory therapist? No. Then he needs to shut his fat mouth. I love Joe Rogan, but... Shut the fuck up, bro. You ain't got shit. If the Alliance falls, then the kingdom will... Ugh, there's no time to waste. I love hairless cats. If I take one in two seconds. If everybody has a free one they don't want, I'll take it. I do think we should let the troops... Oh, cocky. Fall. Yes! We I love the selfies discord. Morale, professor. And let's make it's sure fun because, like, you guys get to tweens. see me all day. If it gets out, so my I'll selfies discord is, like, the way I get to be like, cool and faces to names. And then I can like recognize you places. Hi, my name's Jack. I hope you're well today. Oh, fuck yourself, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you, Jack? Good morning. How's life? How's your weekend so far? Are you doing anything fun? He's not an idiot. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's not a dumb person. He needs to shut up if he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, the search bar up at the top right hand corner, you can type a person's name in there. Last name, for example, bring up every post. Oh, nice. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. I did not know that. If the alliance it's got warm. What the, the fuck? If we hesitate, we risk Honey, losing the I remember my first direction to let the troops rest. Though. Take your pants off and just release it professor. from your panties and let it grow. It'll go away in time. You can make it go away faster if you want to with a little bit of heavy petting. Activity points. Well, fuck this game. Hi, Void Arm. How are you? <laughs> Could I trouble you? No. Ah! Hello. It seems Claude has disappeared. Currently waking up, preparing my week of content things, and my wife and kids are doing well. Weekend? Also, I While would do what you ask, but I keep things clean in the shower. <laughs> the long lineage of the Von Regan family will be broken. You know, 
semen is one of the number one things that clogs up drains because it's crazy and scientists don't even know why about 30 seconds after you come like jizz mysteriously coagulates and hardens and when it comes in contact with other bio bio material like oil and grease from your hair in the drain it like coagulates and sticks to the drain sides so you shouldn't jerk off in the shower who's an idiot he was like oh you shouldn't pee people on respirators because it will mac their body no 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 joe no joe dear dear joe Dear Joe Rogan, I love you, and oh fucking Christ, fucking Christ! Robo Blake with that two months in a row. <coughs> I will squeeze that butt for you. Thank you so much for using the glass, keeping the glassy alive, and giving it anus swings. You're amazing, and I appreciate you. Dear Joe Rogan, I normally respect and love you. You're a very intelligent person, but as a licensed respiratory therapist, you don't know shit about ventilators. Shut the fuck up. Go back to your corner. You're about keto or something. Talk about steak. Yeah, I can't with that. I don't like I don't like people that spread misinformation. That's evil to me. He has such a huge audience. You really need to be careful what you say. Like, I don't have a huge audience and I still watch what I say. Tell us how you really feel. That's how I fucking feel. Do stand up? Hell no. <laughs> This is so not the same. I was actually just having a conversation with a stand-up comedian last night about this exact thing. He was telling, we were talking to him, it's actually one of Zeke's friends. Um, we were just doing a video call on him, hanging out. And he was like, yeah, my entire life has been destroyed by COVID because obviously there's no comedy bars right now. You, like, you can't go do stand-up comedy. And he's like, my number one pet peeve was when people are like, yo, just do it online, just start streaming. It's the same thing. And I was like, that's like telling a streamer to go do stand-up. You think I'd be funny on a stage by myself with nobody talking to me? Funny as in a disaster, maybe. I prefer it sat down, right? I lost all my respect for him fucking, I mean, that's just, I hope he makes a statement about, I don't know, that's pretty bad. But far too many people blindly follow. You shouldn't blindly follow anybody. I'd laugh, thank you. Thank you. I'd have a one up because I already have an audience. You guys would come to laugh just to, oh yeah, we watched we watched the entire the entire DP stream. It was fucking a mess. It was amazing. After this will all pass, yeah, it will. It's just time. We have to wait. Lots of time. Regarding your comments on come earlier, I got a story, but it's pretty bad. Oh, give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Bye bye. Hail Satan. Give it to me. I'm wanted. You're in a safe place, and we love fucked up stories. No blind followers, by the way, right? Like. Uh, like zombie people I would hope if I was being an idiot one of you would tell me what's up like I know most of my mods if something's if I say something bad or if I you know not slip up but like just word something horribly homophobic or something they'll fucking tell me and I will apologize I would never do anything like that on purpose it's all intent I miss the shitty man I don't know something about gears have money gotta make rid of the change you goddamn savages it won't read it out loud unless it's over $5. I just did that so people won't pay for cuss words or, you know, stupid shit. We're not a cult. Can I get some Hail Satans in the chat? Last time I told a streamer to get real, I got banned. Fuck that. I never want it. I never want friends that just kiss my ass. Ever. I never want anyone to kowtow to me. That is not a healthy way to grow as a human. If I'm being an asshole, I need people to tell me. I know oh so well. My son introduced me to the term jizz wall. Bleaching that wall involved many dry heaves. I could still feel the texture through the rag. Orange, rocky mountains on a wall. By the way, all I said was hail Satan and one, two, three, four, five, six people just did it for me. Work. We're cold. We're cold. I love you, by the way. We're cold. Oracle. Um, Jack, I have a story that takes that further that I read on Reddit. Um, it was a story by this guy. A bit, basically, he had a jizz wall his life. And when he went to move out, to move to college, his mom went to pull the bed away from the wall and his, like, 
a blanket or something that had been tucked between the wall and his bed was stuck and took a chunk of the wall off with the blanket because of the jizz. The years of semen had like eaten the wall. What? They got my dick message. What? TYB 2012 has just donated six dollars. Cuss words. Well, fuck me. I keep my fucking mouth clean. <laughs> How dare you think I would be vulgar? <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> it's the last one. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, use a tissue, use a sock even, like for fuck's sake. It's wild. Like why why would you the smell? That's what I like we fuck one time in our bedroom and the whole room smells like cum for like an hour. I don't know how someone would just jizz into a wall for years and not know that smell of rotting nasty. Sincerely, I'd believe it. <laughs> Parts of this wall required careful use of a gum knife. deserved a sub for that by the way hello jack it's lovely to meet you you deserved a sub for chipping cum off a wall holy shit man holy shit no at the very least i think not there are other lesser crests to research yet i am a human first god no thank you that story fallen, a gum knife for those still living oh my god <laughs> how did you like do you and your son ever talk about this like did, were you able to look him in the eye i don't know if i could like a 95 percent chillax dad four percent for perv one percent did i just hear that oh man i'm like 95 percent perv 95% perv, 4% weed, and 1% questionable activities. That story is beautiful. A gum knife. A gum knife. God damn, I can't even with that. Only 4% weed, I'm a lot of perv. I don't know if you know what I do for a living. <laughs> I'm like a lot of perv. Like, majority of the time I'm thinking about sex. I'm like a boy. Like I'm horny all the time. Every couple of hours I like get this urge. I'm like, ooh, I just wanna fuck. And I have to like tell it to go away. A pickle for you, Jack. Blood orgy! Motherfucking hell, Satans. For the man who does all of the music for Gone on twitch.tv slash table story, an amazing role playing show every Wednesday at 4 30 Eastern Standard Time. Did you know that Peachy also streams games as well as composing incredible music? Wow, you sure should give him a follow and use your Twitch Prime on him because he's a dope ass bitch. Also, I flashed him my boobies in person. In the Given a motherfucking anus, it's wings for two months in a row. You're amazing. Thank you. He does. That's amazing. He's like such a cool. I know. What? What a cool guy. Did you guys know you can subscribe to him for free if you have an Amazon Prime account? You just link up your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account, and you can subscribe to Peachy for free. I yep. I did flash you and your mom, and I apologize for that. But at the time, I didn't know she was in the car. PG, thank you so much for that. Oh my God, anonymous gifter. Shush, I did. I didn't know she was in the car. To be fair, I did not know she was in the car. I did not know that part. <laughs> Jesse, I try my best. I want to be a good impression on a mom or fuck. I 
did it badly. <laughs> oh, man. I want to hear that story now. I mean, it's not that great of a story. So basically, I went to Wales to get a really cool tattoo. And one of my good friends, Peachy, lives there. And so I was like, Peachy, if you have any spare time, I'd love to hang out. And I had my friend Amelia Tyler with me, who also lives in, she lives in England. She's in the Midlands, but she was there with me for the tattoo. And he was like, hell yeah, like, let's get to get together and do dinner or something. So we got to get to, got together and did dinner. And then he went to drop us off at our hotel. And I forgot my phone in his car. So we all hugged goodbye and whatever. We even took pictures outside of the car, which is crazy. I don't know how I got the phone back into the car, but somehow I got my phone back into his car. So he left and was gone for like 20 minutes. And like he had shit to do. He actually had to go do stuff. And so it wasn't like I could just like casually call him back. So we text him from Millie's phone and I'm like, I can't believe it, but I'm pretty positive. My stupid American brain left my phone in your car. And he's like, no problem. I'll come back and give it to you guys. But what Millie failed to tell me is he actually said in the text, my mother's going to be in the car. So we're at this beautiful chateau in in w Wales, England, and it's gorgeous. And we're watching this train go through the misty mountains. And I see this car come up and no one else is staying there. So I'm like, that's peachy. I know the car. So I flash the car on the hill. I'm like, woo, Peachy. I flash everybody, by the way. Oh, I love you, Millie. There's no blame here. No blame here. That was not necessary information. I probably shouldn't be flashing people out of nowhere. But i that's just what I do. I flash people. So I'm like, woo. He comes out of his car to give me the phone. His fucking mom's in his car. Because <laughs> that's what he was doing. He was like picking up his mother or something. <sighs> And that's the story of how I got my phone back. Hello, Amelia Tyler, were your ears burning? Please follow my friend Amelia Tyler as well. Another amazing British voice actress. Um, she does a lot of variety broadcasting though. She does a ton of RP over on Twi Table Story as well. Her and I were in the show Nocturne together, which is an incredible show. You can watch it on YouTube or listen to the podcast. She's in another show now and I'm in Gone. You should definitely. Peachy won. Uh, Jay Britton rated Peachy, obviously. Oh my God, I love Jay. Is Jay here? Jay? Hello? Jay? Jay. And that, kids, is how Katie met my mother. <laughs> I don't think she thought anything of it, though, did she? Was she like, what are those lovely titties doing on the hill? <laughs> the weird thing is how Peachy's mom still asks about CK. <laughs> it was probably the glint off the nipple rings. What's that blinding light in the hills? Thank you for the fuck. <laughs> Jesse Quill, thank you so much for following my channel. Welcome, Raiders, and thank you for that follow. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh my God, is that a goat? Oh my God, cute. Oh, that's animated break. I love animated break. Oh my God, hi, Jay, how are you? <laughs> I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> it's a moose. Oh, I like mooses better. Did you know I have a pug named Moose? She's on the floor right now, sleeping, Hail but I can Satan. show her to you. Jesse, thank you so much for that host. Let me show you my adorable pug for the raid. Look at that little schnook down there. That's my moose. Also, her name is Millie. Not, Hail Satan. not to be Hail confused Satan. with Amelia Tyler, which is ironic that I had a dog named Millie and then I gained a best friend named Millie. It's very confusing. I actually have to call her Amelia in my house because my boyfriend gets very confused. Um, who the fuck I'm talking about. I'll be like, oh my God, Millie fell over. And he'll be like, wait, Millie fell? And I'll be like, no, 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 the dog. <laughs> it's hard, but that's my little moose down there. I don't know why we call her moose. We have similar energy levels, to be honest. I believe it. She's a pretty cute little nugget. Jessie's wonderful people. I mean, if you guys are friends with her, she must be wonderful people. I know you guys don't put up with no shit. I believe it. If she can handle Jay and Peachy and Millie and, I mean... That's a lot. <laughs> that says a lot about her inner character. <laughs> Bearded Dragon's like, I know, my Bearded Dragon loves attention. Anytime I move my feet, she freaks out because she thinks it's food. Terrarium, yep, I have a Bearded Dragon and I have two snakes. My Bearded Dragon's kind of wild because it's feeding day. So many wonderful friendships and magic came out of Nocturne. I know, I know. It's, I mean, it's honestly like, before Zeke and I were even talking romantically in any way, shape or form, Millie and I formed like this incredible bond. And then I went to visit her and we just like, like I tell Millie, she's like my person in the most platonic way. Like sh we just like, I've never met someone I clicked with that fast. And it was the same with Zeke. Like Nocturne did something. 
Nocturne like broke barriers emotionally or something. And puppies on the way, I know. I have an offline game of D&D. Oh my God, go, don't be late. Go D&D. I love you, Peachy. Thank you so much for the follow. I mean, for the raid. Everybody, please follow my friend Peachy. I wasn't, I wasn't expanding upon his talent in any way, shape or form. He does literally compose all of the music for Gone on table dot on table story or on twitch.tv slash table story. He's an incredible composer. He has lots of music you can use for your streams and stuff that are licensed free. You can talk to him about. Um, he's an incredible guy and he also plays games and stuff and he's super funny. Please give him a follow. Thank you for the raid. Peachy's excellent peeps. And as you've heard now, I have met him in person. And I know he's like IRL awesome peeps. PB is a witch, obviously. I mean, we knew that. It was like magnets. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And the same, like when Zeke and I got together, it was the same. And it was just like Nocturne gave me my best lady friend of my life and my best man friend of my life. And it's just like, and now it's over and I hate it. <laughs> Dude, Daniel Lannister, just, it's on podcast. It's a podcast. You can listen to it on Spotify or the podcast app. Just listen to it, if anything. I mean, the acting is amazing. Every single one of us RP'd, like um, did cosplay the entire time. So it's really, really fun to watch. But if you can't watch it or find the time, Please absolutely listen to it. It's great. It's I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's a good show if it wasn't a good show. It's a really good show. It was phenomenal. I cried, like real cried a couple times. He does have Spotify playlists of all of his stuff. Yes, he does. You should absolutely if, if you go to his channel, he has all the panels for it below his channel. He's dope and his music's really cool. It's like electronic kind of synth wavy stuff. It's beautiful. He does really good music. Uncanny Andy, what up? How are you? We all cried. I know. I still like, there are certain scenes that I don't think a lot of people realize I didn't even know were going to happen. And when they happened, I had to hold it together and pretend I knew they were going to happen. And I was fucking, every time I was off camera, I was like, hold on, PB, I got to redo my makeup. Hold on. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Like so many times I had to redo the blood on my face or something because I'd cry it off. Or like a lot of the times you guys would see I do the blood under my cheeks. It's because I cried. So I'd be like, fuck, I'm just going to add some blood. And like, we'll just pretend it's blood now. <laughs> I'll always, yep, that was the exact one I'm talking about, Viata. I had no idea that was going to happen. That was all PB. That was all PB and Zeke. I had no idea. And I had to act like it, everything was okay. It was horrible. I cried. I cried. I cried. We need that mo makeup photo shoot to share. Oh my God. How has Jay Amelia or Peachy not tweeted out Jay's makeup? Oh, I have to see it. Oh my God, what? Makeup? Oh, please let me see. Please let me see. Oh, please let me see. You must Is it a surprise? Somebody. The former Fargus territory used to belong to the Empire. Thank you, Lazne. You're the best. We should make a command for that. Or like add it to the Gone command or something. Control. If any of the mods know how to do that, I don't know how, but if you know how, that would be a good thing to add in there because he does do all the music for he's dope. The kingdom gained Jay did a makeup tutorial. Stop. Became the first king, Lug von Please say you're going to upload Blake, that to YouTube so I can watch that. Of Fargus, are directly descended from Lug, Please. Who's also known as the King of Lions. If you look at it from the point Sorry, of I'm just view talking to Empire, some pointless man. Please, the for the love of God. It's just a bunch of traitors. Please. How Boris was like, okay, let's start opening up shit in Wales, Scotland, and the North Irish Isles. We're like, fuck you. We're going to keep quarantining for like three weeks more. No, I didn't hear about that, but that sounds very much like Scotland and the North and the Irish Isles. Absolutely. Honestly, they'd probably open up if the UK decided to stay closed just to be confrontational. That's kind of what happens. The North is usually like, fuck, the, fuck them. We don't. We're our own people. They'll just do whatever the other one doesn't do. Really. But I mean, good for them. I'm still self-quarantining, even though shit's opened up. I'm not going anywhere. Fuck that. I don't want COVID. I don't want COVID, and I don't want to spread COVID. I don't want to be a vessel for it to fucking mutate and become something horrible inside my body. Hell no. Zeke and I talked about that the other night, and I was like, I think we should stay inside for at least another month. Like, just to see how the opening up goes. I'm I'm not excited, but I anticipate to see what the results of this is going to be. Like, with everything opening up, like, how bad is it going to be? I don't know. Are, are rates going to skyrocket? Are they going to be the same? Like, I'm just going to watch it from the peace of my home. What the fuck? Oh. I have fucking... I have multiple, uh, multiple discords open. So I was like, why did I... 
Am I allowed to show this to my stream, Millie? Oh my god. <gasps> With pleasure. Guys, I'd like you to introduce you to the love of my best friend, Millie. Millie chose this man. She chose him. She is a beautiful, big titty lady. She could have chose any man. And this is the man she chose. I am humbled by your humility, Millie. <laughs> it's my face. You need my permission. Is this your face, Jay? Because I don't know if it is anymore. This doesn't look like the Jay I know. I don't think this is <laughs> I wish I was a big titty lady. No, you don't. They're terrible. Back. Oh my god. What was actually Zeke the other day? He asked me, he was like, I noticed your bras are really tight. Because I have um right here, I have like tons of little broken blood vessels from bras. And he was like, I noticed your bras are really tight. And I'm like, honey, that's how bras work. And he was like, What do you mean? I'm like, if they're not tight on your rib cage, they don't hold your titties anywhere. And he's like, Is that why you guys have all those broken blood vessels? I'm like, yeah. Now imagine someone with big boobs. I have small boobs. Imagine someone with some weight in these bitches. I don't even know. It's like a rescue type of thing or... <laughs> Absolute destruction of this travesty. Oh my God. That took you two hours. I mean, it's beautiful. You transformed. Big titties are painful. Check Discord again. I wear exclusively sports bras because they are better for that. Yes. I wear only, I don't wear anything with underwire anymore because they drive me insane. This is just art. I'm going to be honest. Art. It, I just, will he suck your dick or will he plow your mom or your dad? Nobody knows. Jay Britton. All I w ever wanted when I streamed was to help people and bring light to life. And this is how This was to bring light to life. <gasps> You're beautiful, honey. Now we just have to get you to let Millie put makeup on you so we can see you pretty. I want to see Millie do some work on you and see how pretty you can be. That's what I really want to see. I can see what you do. I want to see what Millie can do. Will he suck your dick or will he have a breakdown cut and steal your cat? Nobody knows. Jay Britton. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hold on. Oh, fuck off computer. Did we at least bang Jay? <clears throat> Can we bang him again? For all the for all the misery we're putting him through right now, we might as well tell people who this beautiful mug belongs to. It's my friend Jay Britton. He's a voice actor, gamer. It's pretty fucking dope. He also RPs over on twitch.tv slash motherfucking Oh my god, table story. What is this? What happened here? Did you put blush on your forehead? You need chapstick, bro. What is this? Oh, it's a goatee. Okay. What? Are those your eyebrows? <laughs> oh, like a fucking pioneer. You know what? You might start a trend. I've seen some weird makeup these days. The more you look, it just gets... So <laughs> is this lipstick? <laughs> just... oh, maybe I'll have to cosplay. Oh, he got it on his... Jay. This is this is a noob. Noob move, bro. Oh man. You better have some clips of this shit. There better be some good clips on Twitter later. Oh the You didn't shine up your nose though. You have a lovely nose. Could have contoured this. Done some real work. Poor sunburned overripe run over panda. <laughs> 
People kept making it do it with his eyes closed. <laughs> I can see the primer. <laughs> oh, that's yesterday's pizza. Delightful. Recycling. I love it. Since we're sharing an embarrassing moment, let me know when you're done flooding your basement on this glorious snapshot of history. Oh, give it to me. I'm ready. I just wanted to, I didn't realize I could zoom in on this. We were here, but now we're here. And just, you can see, you just, I mean, this looks actually nice. Your cheeks look nice. Like if we just covered up, your cheeks look great. You did a good job. They look very healthy glow. The lipstick was done with no hands and Millie had the lipstick thing. <laughs> That's so beautiful. So many clips. Good. I need to see them. A moderately priced dinner on him. Yeah, I'd take him out. Ask him how his life was. More as an experiment than anything, but maybe he's an interesting girl. It's weirder in silence, isn't it? Yeah, the cheeks are great. I love it. I mean, you did a good job on the cheeks. The, yeah, the cheeks are really nice. The fake eyelashes as a second pair of eyebrows. Oh yeah, that's, I love it. It's perfect. I mean, he's blonde, so his eyebrows are pretty pale anyways. If you're looking at that face, you kind of know how his life's going. I want to know where he's been. I need to dive into that mess. Where did your dad touch you on the bong? Tell me. Show me where it was at the penis. Was it this part? Was it the shaft? It was the shaft, wasn't it? Focus. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Give me the gif. Everywhere. He's been everywhere and everyone and everything. So modern, so avant-garde.